Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this simple cowl here. You can see the stitches here. Lay it out here, maybe you'll be able to see it better. On the white. Kind of, it kind of looks like stars, I guess. But it's a real easy to row repeat pattern. The yarn is super soft. I think it turned out real nice. This is a nice, quick, simple cow. You can wear it, fold it up in half if you want, like that. Or you can wear it all the way out and kind of let it just fall upon, on itself. That's how. But let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I am using Premier Parfait yarn. It is so soft. If you've never felt it, it's probably one of the softest yarns I have ever felt. Now it is a 100% polyester, a bulky number five. Now you don't have to use this yarn. Any bulky five will work. Um, there's, this is the big cake of it. It's 574 yards. Of course you won't need near that much. Probably uh, 250 yards maybe. That's just a guess I would say. It doesn't take a lot. The color I am using is called teal. And then I'm going to be using a size K, which is a six and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I just want to take one second to ask you not to forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Remember, if you look in the description box of this video or any of my videos, you'll see an auto subscribe link. You can click on that. Or if you look in the right hand corner of the video right now, you can click on that little subscribe button there. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. So you want to start with a slip knot on your hook. Now this um, cowl is done with what's called the spatter pattern. It's real easy. Um, it's done in a multiple of six plus two. In case you want to make this for something else or you want to make your cowl uh, larger or smaller than mine. But I went ahead and started with a chain of 38. Okay, once you get your chain of 38 done, you want to go ahead and do a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Now remember, we never count the one that's on our hook. So in the second stitch, we're going to do a single crochet. Like that. Now we're going to skip two stitches. So skip, skip. And in the next one, we're going to work a double crochet. like that. Then we're going to work chain two and in the same stitch we're going to work another double crochet. Chain two. In the same stitch we're going to work one more double crochet. Just like that. So what we put in that one stitch was a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. Now we're going to skip two stitches again. So skip, skip, and then the next one we're just going to go do a single crochet. Like that. Now we're going to kind of repeat that again. So we're going to skip two, skip, skip, and then the next one we're going to work a double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the same stitch, chain two, and one more double crochet. All that into that same stitch. Now we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and we're going to do a single crochet into the next. Like that. And now we're going to repeat it again. So we're going to skip two stitches. Skip, skip, and in the next one we're going to work a double crochet. Chain two. Double crochet in the same stitch. 
chain two and one more double crochet and then we're going to skip two skip skip and single crochet into the next and that's what we're going to repeat till we get to the end of the row skip two skip skip and in the next one we work our double crochet chain two double crochet chain two and in the same stitch work one more double crochet Skip two, skip, skip, and single crochet into the next. Skip two, skip, skip, and we work our double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. And we just keep repeating that until we get to the end, and that's what it starts to look like. Okay, I'm coming to the end, and I just did a my double crochet chain two double crochet chain two double crochet I have three stitches left so I want to skip two and single crochet into the last and that'll end row one and if you're following me you'll have one two three four five six sets of these double crochet little shell things I guess I guess you can call them little shells double crochet chain two double crochet chain two and double crochet you have six sets of those okay now row two and three are the repeat rows for the whole pattern so for row two we're going to chain one and turn our work now we're going to put a double crochet right here into the very very first stitch And then we're going to chain two and we're going to go back into that same stitch and work one double crochet so what we did there is kind of like a half of a little shell double crochet chain two double crochet now we're going to come over here to the first shell i'm, I'm calling them shells now this set of double crochet chain two double crochet chain two double crochet and in the middle double crochet we're going to single crochet just like that and now we're going to go to the next single crochet which is right down here in between these two shells and we're going to work our shell again our double crochet go into that single crochet chain two go back in the same spot double crochet chain two and in the same spot again double crochet just like that now we're going to kind of repeat that so in this next little shell here we're going to single crochet into the middle double crochet and then right down here into this single crochet in between these two shells right down here we'll work our shell again so we're going to go right into the single and we're going to work a double crochet chain two double crochet chain two and double crochet and then we're going to single crochet into the middle double crochet of our next shell just like that so we're just repeating that until we get to the end of the row so right down here in the single crochet we'll work our shell so we'll go right down into it and work a double crochet chain two double crochet chain two and another double crochet and then we're going to single crochet into the middle double crochet of this next shell so single crochet right into it so that's the pattern i'm going to repeat until i get to the end so we'll go ahead and do our little shell right down here in this single crochet i'll just go ahead and finish out the row because i'm almost there
And now we're going to put a single crochet into the middle stitch of our next shell. That. And then we shell right here into the next single crochet. Yarn is so soft. And then single crochet into the middle stitch of the next shell. And then when you're at the end here, what we're going to do is in this last single crochet here on the end, we're going to do a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. So that's kind of like a half of a shell to match the, the, the beginning that we did. So that'll end row two, and you'll have one, two, three, four, five of the shells, and then two of the little half ones on the one on one on each end. Row three, we are going to chain one and turn our work, and we're going to single crochet right back here into this very first stitch, like that. And now we're just going to go into the very first single crochet, which is right here. And we're going to go ahead and do our shell in it. So yarn over, go right into it, and work our double crochet. Chain two. Double crochet. Chain two. And double crochet. Now we're going to single crochet into the middle double crochet of the next shell, so right here. And now we're just going to kind of repeat that. So right down here in the single crochet in between the next shells, we're going to do our shell. So go right into the single crochet and work your double crochet, chain two double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. And then we're going to single crochet in the middle double crochet of the next shell. So right here, single crochet. Repeat it again. So right down here is the single crochet, the next single crochet, and that's what we're going to put our next shell. So go right into it and double, chain two, double, chain two, and double. And then single crochet again right here in the middle of the next shell. So I'm just going to repeat that pattern until I get to the end of the row. Okay, I'm coming to the end in this I just did my double crochet, chain two, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So that shell went right here into that last single crochet. And now we're going to end by single crocheting into the top of the last double crochet. And that'll end row three. And now you'll have six shells again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now it's just a repeat of rows two and three and you can see it kind of makes a star pattern it's actually really cool so we're just going to repeat row we're going to do for row four what we did on row two that's where we chained one and we turned and we worked a double crochet into the very first stitch chain two and double crochet back into the same stitch. So we started with that little half shell that we talked about. And then we go right here to the very first shell and single crochet into the middle stitch. And then we go to the next single crochet that's in between these two shells. So right here. And that's where we work our next shell. So we're just gonna keep repeating rows two and three until we get the length that we need it to be. My single crochet here. Okay. 
Okay, I have got my 42 rows done. And remember, you can do more if you'd like. That's up to you. If you want it bigger, whatever you want to do. If you want to make a surveil scarf, you know, it's your project. You make it however you want. But I went ahead and did 42. Now what I'm going to do, I left a long tail for sewing. Well, kind of long. I'm not going to lie, I actually forgot about it. So <laughs> I hope I have enough there to, to sew it in. But go ahead and leave a long tail for sewing. And then what you want to do is just flip your piece and we'll sew it up with a yarn needle. So put your pieces together. Both sides pretty much look the same to me. So I don't really think there's any right or wrong side. Let me see what I got going on here. Okay. So all I'm going to do is take my yarn needle. This yarn is so soft, too. I just can't get over how soft it is. You're probably tired of me talking about how soft it is. But, it's hard to get on a yarn needle. I'll say that. There we go. Now all I'm going to do is just neatly sew up the ends here. So, start right here the corner and then grab the stitch here on this side and I'm actually gonna sew back and forth not um, over so you know just kind of do your best to get it sewed up just evenly as possible Now, if you don't want to make this a cowl or an infinity scarf or whatever, you just leave it open or make it a regular scarf. So this is what I'm going to do all the way down. Just neatly sewing it up. So just going to do that until you get over here to the end. Okay, once you get done sewing it up, I just flipped it right side out. And then, so the seam's on the inside, and that's it. That's all there is to it. Super soft. Super easy. The pattern's pretty cool, so. Yeah, pretty easy pattern. I hope uh, you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh... Don't forget to check me out on Facebook also and Pinterest. I'll put a link to that stuff below in the description box. And until next time, have a good day.